With crypto prices crashing in the Axie universe, people are wondering, is it time to quit Axie Infinity? And definitely aren't thinking about joining Axie Infinity, but are they wrong? I'm going to be going into an in-depth analysis on Axie Infinity and debating and calculating is it worth to stay in Axie Infinity if you're already in and if you should get into Axie Infinity and if it's worth it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the basics on what Axie Infinity is if you're new to it. So, Axie Infinity is a Pokemon type game where you're having three Axies or Pokemon versus another three Axies or Pokemon. So this is a look at Axie Infinity right here. Again, it's a 3v3 game where your Axies are battling another person or AI. So, why would I want to play this game? Well, Axie Infinity will actually give you a cryptocurrency every time you win the game called a Smooth Love Potion. And from now on, we're going to go ahead and call it SLP. So, the amount of SLP that you earn from this game depends on how good you are at the game. So, for example, if you're just an average player, you're probably going to be gaining around 1 to 6 SLP per win. And now if you're a better player, a very experienced player, and you're at the top of the game, you can earn up to 21 SLP per game. Now, how much does this SLP worth? Well, right now, it is currently worth a little bit less than 3 cents. But it's been all the way up to over 40 cents before. There is a limit, however, how much you can play Axie Infinity. You're allowed 20 energy a day every 24 hours. You'll get that. And that means you can play 20 PvP battles. So that means you're versing another person, getting that SLP, you can do it for a maximum of 20. But this number can also increase. So you're able to get 40 energy or all the way up to 60 energy, depending on how many axes you have. So again, your team needs three. If you get up to 10 axes, again, you can still only play three at a time, but you can make multiple combinations of teams. Then you're able to get 40 energy a day, which you're able to get more SLP. And then if you go for 20 or more axes, then you're able to get 60 energy, which is the most you can have right now. There's one more detail that you probably need to know about the game before we move on to our discussion that's going to be important. And that is if you are really, really good at the game and you're in that top 1000 category, top 1000 player, you can actually earn another crypto and that's called AXS. That's this blue one right here in the middle. Currently, it's worth $95 per AXS, but you can earn a couple hundreds of these tokens if you're high enough on that ladder. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the discussion now that we have the background all complete. So like I mentioned in the first 10 seconds of this video, the cryptocurrencies for this game have been dropping at a pretty staggering rate. Again, if we look at July, it was all the way up at 34 cents and now it's down to under two or under three. I've already made a video on why you should sell your SLP or rather convert it into another token. So if you haven't seen that video, I recommend it. It's right here on the screen right now. So if you have seen it, come on back, stay with me. If you haven't, go ahead and watch that video and then come back when you're ready. If you've been playing the game for a while now, these prices dropping has been really frustrating for you. You've lost out on a lot of money. But if you're not in the game already, this is literally, praise Jesus, hallelujah, here we go. Because now, all the prices of axes have dropped a ton. So I'm going to be showing you guys now a couple of pictures of what the prices of axes at the floor was. That means the cheapest of the cheap axes you could buy. So this is back in that peak that I just showed you in July. So if we look at it, 0.16 ETH, over $350 for the worst axes you can possibly imagine. That's just mind blowing to me. So we go on to the next one here. So here is the second one. This is from one of the YouTubers that I just grabbed this picture from. So this is in 9 1 of 21. So all the way into September now, we're looking at 0.04. So a pretty big decrease on that price. Now it's just $152 because Ethereum was a lot lower at this time than where it is right now. But still, $152 is really, really expensive. So if we look at where the prices are now, this was taken today on 1-4-2022. 0 0.018 Ethereum, $68 for the worst Axie you can possibly imagine. We compare that again to $350 for a unusable Axie, that's just insane. So as we look at the crypto price for SLP, it pretty much correlates to the price of SLP is how much those axes are going to cost, as well as the influx of new players. Obviously, the demand was a lot higher. But if we go back to July, it was at the low of July 1st. Again, 13 cents all the way up to 35, 36 cents at its peak. If we go over to September again, where the prices was about 0.1 um, ETH, 
and a couple of about $150. Again, we come to September, it's around 12 cents per SLP, and now we're under three cents. So this gets us into our first reason on why this is a great investment. Now, Axie Infinity, again, if we're looking back at July, for the worst axes that aren't even really playable, 0.16 or $352 for one. You need three to play the game. So that's, you know, over $900, closer to $1,000 plus to play the game and not even be really able to compete on the top ladder. Now, if we compare that to the prices now, but we're going to use one of our top tier axes. So one of my newest scholars, Masquerade here, he has gotten into that top 10,000 ladder. He's actually been up to 2750 uh, on his MMR, but this picture is just one that he had for me. 2616 was his MMR, right? So that's top 10,000 as you can see here. He's in 7,000 at that point. I'm gonna show you his team and we're gonna compare the prices of a team now versus a team back in July and September. So this is another screenshot of his account showing his axes now. As you can see, he's at 2,700 MMR. So in that top 10,000, I believe he was top 5,000 at this point in the season when he took this picture. But anyways, let's go ahead and compare the prices of his axes that we see on the screen to the cost that they cost right now. Starting off here with the plants, we're gonna go ahead and move on. It is 0.057 ETH or just $221. Again, this is a top tier plant. Again, he's in the top 10,000 consistently now. We go on to his Dawn now. We have a 0.05 ETH, so really, really cheap again, $192. And then finally, we have his bug at 0.04 ETH. That's just crazy cheap. Oh my God, $154, you have a team. It's about 0.16 ETH for the team, 0.15, whatever it is. Still, costs less than the Floor Axie team in July by a lot. And now you're able to push top 10 ladder or top 10,000 ladder and get those 21 SLPs a win. It's insane. Now, the odds of him being able to pull this off with those Floor Axies that I was talking about is as likely as this guy winning the hottest guy on the planet. I mean, oh my God. So the main takeaway I want you to take away from this first point uh, kind of is summed up by a quote from Ken Fisher, and that is time in the market beats timing the market. Prices are so cheap right now that if they do increase, even if they don't increase, which will be our second point here, you're still going to be able to get that good ROI. And if they do increase, man, you're in for a nice return. So moving on to our second reason why Axie Infinity, this is a great time to get into it, is because of the ROI. So the return on investment here on Axie is really good. Whether you're going to be playing on your account by yourself, giving it to a scholar or anything like that, the ROI is pretty insane, honestly. So like we just said, a top tier team is 0.15 ETH or about $650. If you're a decent player, just slightly above average, and you're earning nine SLP a win, you have a 50% win rate, and you have 20 energy a day, you can expect 165 SLP a day. And this includes that adventure, adventure SLP and the bonus that you get daily, which is 75 extra. And that's about four and a half dollars a day. So that only takes about, that $615 takes 136 days to get back on your investment, which is about four and a half months, which isn't bad at all. Now, if you are a manager looking to give it out for a scholar, you just go ahead and double out that ROI time. If you're doing a 50-50 split, again, it'll take about nine months to get your investment back with your scholars. And this all includes the price of SLP right now. If SLP was to jump up to six cents, Again, that means your ROI is gonna be halved again because the price doubled, or I guess right now it'd be five cents. That's so about two and a half cents per SLP. But either way, I think SLP is gonna to continue to drop right now. Again, I made a whole nother video on that. If you haven't seen it, seriously check it out on why I think it's gonna keep dropping, why you shouldn't hold it, anything like that until the new hype comes into play. And this is gonna lead me on to my third point here, and that is because I trust the team and I know the updates are gonna be super hype. So everybody knows that the land gameplay in Battles of E2 is right around the corner again. It's expected in the Q1 of 2022, which we are in right now, so that's a good thing. So within the next three months, we should be able to see that update. Again, with the update hype and leaks, we've actually seen prices spike in SLP, AXS, and a bunch of other tokens um, that correlate with the Axie, and that, it's just from hype. It's from nothing being released. I believe this one right here, this um, on December 7th and December 8th, there was some leak or something that caused this huge spike up in the price. 
One of them within the last 90 days for sure. It may have been uh, the November one, but either way, we've seen it before. So when these actually do get released, we can expect to see a nice little bump in SLP, maybe in AXS as well. And if they do get the burn mechanics right, we could see a sustained price increase, maybe at six cents, eight cents, who knows? And it could stay there because they figure it out. But again, I trust the team. They know what they're doing. They've had a really good run these past couple years. And with this team, they are so smart. They've already kind of figured it out. Hey, if SOPs do it bad, why not focus on AXS and stake it? You can earn over 100% return right now every year on AXS just by holding it. By staking it, just saying, here, here you go, have it. I can take it back at any time. They can do that. And that's just crazy. SLP is dog water. Why are you holding it right now? I don't know. I mean, once Battles V2 come out, I'm definitely going to switch it back. Or like once I think it's coming out, a little bit of hype comes in. I'm going to switch it. I'm going to put it back in because I think there's going to be a nice boost and maybe get 100% return in one day. Maybe in an hour. You never know. That's the crazy thing about crypto. All right, moving on to my last reason. I've kind of been like this guy in the bushes here just watching and seeing what's been going on because... One of the smartest things you could do, kind of like how Nancy Pelosi is always right with the stocks of which ones go up. If you follow the big fish, normally they are pretty smart. And that leads me to my last reason is that more and more organizations keep on putting more and more resources into this game. And we've already seen it from the past that teams and scholars or teams and um, creators have been getting a little bit of like special treatment, a little insider info. That's where we've got some of our leaks from actually is from those creators leaking out their info from the dev team. And that's because they may have that crystal ball. They may know what's coming and they're smart. So, hey, why not follow the smart people around? Again, teams are popping up. Big guilds are continuously expanding, adding hundreds and hundreds of scholars. Little teams like AA Axie are adding more and starting up. They already had 65 players and this was back in October. I know that they are continuously adding more players and they're getting higher and higher on that leaderboard as well. But still, all these teams continuously adding more and more scholars, that's just a good thing because these people are putting in hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in this game. And I would like to think these people aren't just brain dead and they actually know what they're doing so like why not follow the smart people around right again i'm super excited to see what axie comes in and i hope you guys took some good takeaways from this and maybe you will think about getting into axie again those main four points i want to hit on is right now axes are super super cheap they've never been this cheap since basically the start of the game there's a great roi against four and a half months or under and again if prices go up bang you're making it even quicker we also have more and more scholars getting added to the game and those big guilds keep on pouring in funds and they may have that crystal ball, may know what's coming like land gameplay here. It's gonna be crazy. And finally, the team is so smart. They have balanced out the Axie Infinity economy, switching up the breeding costs, everything like that. Again, those are all nice and positives. There are some negatives. I haven't gone too much into them because they're all kind of speculation, speculation and all that kind of good stuff. It's nothing too hard and concrete that I can actually pull together. I know people call Axie Infinity a pyramid scheme sometimes, which technically it is, but right now they're probably going to change it some way. Again, they're smart. They don't want to see their game die because they are making millions of dollars a day. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are looking to join a community, learn a little bit more about Axie, make sure to join my Discord. I have it down below for you guys. I appreciate you watching the end of the video. Have a great day. Peace.